skin is the largest organ in the body. And when it's severely burned, it needs to be replaced quickly and massively. The standard techniques that we have now, uh, that takes weeks, months sometimes. And the reason why people die is because of the infections that develop while we're waiting for the skin to heal. How are you doing pain-wise? Pretty good. OK. So if we could find a way to get normal, healthy skin, as much of it as we want, within a week, that's the holy grail in burn surgery. George Gerlach thinks he's found a way. But he'll need a gun. We call it a skin cell gun. Um, a device for the deposition of skin cells onto the wound. It looked like something you'd see in Star Wars. This is Matt Euro, state police officer from Pennsylvania. He's one of the first people to be treated with the gun. Uh, I attended a uh, July 5th party at a friend's house, and there was a small bonfire. I was standing next to the bonfire, and an individual decided to throw a cup of gasoline on the fire. The worst part was my face. It was the whole right side of my face here, uh, my ear, my neck, and my shoulder, and the entire top part of my arm. Yerm had suffered severe second-degree burns. This photo shows what a second-degree burn looks like. The arm kind of looked like a piece of charred meat, like, uh, like a hot dog that was left on a grill too long. The doctor said that I might be a candidate for this new procedure, uh, which is the spray gun, and asked me if I'd be interested. Skin cell spraying is like paint spraying. Just you need a more sophisticated device, like computer controlled. We isolate cells from the healthy part of the skin, the patient's own cells, which can be taken in a water solution. And that solution um, is prepared for cell spraying. Basically, what they were, they were doing was taking my stem cells from my skin and putting them all in the gun and spraying it on my arm. Scientists have been able to regenerate sheets of skin for decades. The problem is it takes weeks for that skin to grow, and the new skin is extremely fragile. Gerlach's gun solves both of these problems. It takes like one and a half hour to take the biopsy, to isolate the cells, and to spray the cells. This is what Urim's skin probably looked like before treatment. This is what it looked like four days after it was sprayed with his own stem cells. They did it on a Friday, and my follow-up was that Monday, and the burn unit said it was healed, completely healed. Though the skin gun is still experimental, over a dozen patients have already been successfully treated.